Hi guys, welcome back. I am so sorry I've been missing for the longest time. I know I say this in every one of my videos but it's just that my schedule doesn't permit give me time to do videos as much as I like to. Um, so I just try to do as much as I can whenever I have the, some free time. At least I know I'm free. I'm a little bit free this month before November, December starts and then the wedding season picks up and then you won't see me till probably January. So I, I decided to do this um, actually pedal pop inspired look but I also wanted to show you guys my um, this new palette that I bought from BH Cosmetics and it's the Bring Me Take Me to Brazil okay and it comes with like super bright neon colors so when I saw this I was like I've got to get it because it was only $9.90 and I really wanted to try out the neon colours but I must say that it's not the easiest palette to work with because of the eyeshadow quality it's not really really high quality so it's not um, easy to work with and easy to blend so you will find like you know your colours fade off as you blend and it's like it's really chalky and it falls on your face a lot so um, I've also mentioned in the video it's possible to work with it it's just that you have to be patient and take your time with the blending and yeah, you will be able to work with it. So this is a really good palette. I mean, it's it's an okay palette for those of you who are interested in colours and you want to try and, you know, play around with colours, you can get this. It's only um, 9.90 US from bhcosmetics.com. I'll put the link below. And um, I've also used some of my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows which you guys will see in the video and of course some glitter and this is also I wanted to mention this is also um, a really subtle way to wear glitter if you're not like a fan of full on glitter on your entire lid this is like a really nice subtle way to just have a little bit of bling on your eyes so I really hope you guys try it out it's not as difficult as it seems but if you follow my steps, you will be able to get there. So, um, yeah, if you want to know how I got this look, stay tuned. Okay, so to begin, um, I'm going to use my Beach Lab Cosmetics um, eyeshadow base. So for the eyeshadows that I'm going to use today, you really need to use some, base, some sort of a base to make sure it sticks to your eyes. Because it's really chalky since they're all mostly matte. So yeah, make sure if you don't have this, you can use any primer and then use your NYX Jumbo Pencil or any eye pencil. So make sure it's really sticky. So make sure you blend it out evenly. Okay. So now for the first colour, I'm going to be using um, my Sigma E40 blending brush. Okay, and I'm going for this really really hot pink okay so make sure you tap off the excess and I'm going to apply this to the crease okay next um, for my highlight, I'm just using the white that comes with this palette here. The white there, so you can use any highlight of your choice. Just going to blend that out a bit more with the pink. I'm not taking any more color on my brush, I'm just blending that out. Okay. Alright, so um, next we want to work with the, I mean, I'm going to work with the crease colours first because um, once you use these kind of matte colours, you will realise that the colours actually tend to fade off as you blend them. So I'm going to do the crease colours first so that I don't have to go on and touch up back and forth. The next colour I'm going to go for will be... Um, Hold on a minute, let me get the brush. Okay, will be this blue here and this purple. I'm mixing both of them together and I'm using my Sigma E45 
Okay, basically you just want a darker colour to emphasise the crease area a bit. So make sure you tap off the excess and then apply your colour to so the outer V. Okay, I'm going back for my E40. Without any product on my brush, I'm just going to blend this out with the pink. You might find it a bit difficult to blend these eyeshadows, but you know what? If you take your time, you'll be fine. Okay. I'm just going to touch up a little bit more pink. So next, with a flat shader brush, I'm going for another purple, this one here, and I'm just going to place this colour right next to this bluish purple here. So basically, it goes onto the centre of the lid. sure these two colors blend right next for the inner corners that light blue there there is a blue that comes in this palette you can see here but it's really um, sheer and it doesn't it doesn't really stick so I'm not going to use that blue I'm going to go for my L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow and this is okay let me find the name okay there's no name for this but it's basically the light blue one. You can use anything you have in your collection. Don't really have to use this. But I'm using a shimmery one so that so that it doesn't look so flat. As in the rest of the shadows are really matte. So what I'm gonna do is miss my brush. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush with Fix Plus, just a flat shader brush. Okay, and I'm going to apply that colour to the inner corner, blending it with the purple. Something like that. Alright. Okay. So, um, next I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm using this from BH Cosmetics. It's the pen eyeliner. It's called the BH Liquid Eyeliner. It's just the one in black. Comes like in a marker pen thing. So I'm just going to draw a very thin line. I'm not going to make my eyeliner too thick. So I just want it to be really thin so that the glitter and the colours all show through very well. two liquid eyeliners and these are just random ones that I got from the beauty shop. Uh, I got it from PHG I believe. Okay, So you can use whatever you have. Um, the first one will be a blue. So I'm going to apply that to the top half of the lid. Um, yeah, just above my black eyeliner.
So next, I'm just going to use the same color um, glitters. You can use any glitter you have. So I'm basically I'm using a blue like this and a hot pink like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the liquid eyeliner with my glitter. So you want to work fast before the glitter dries, as in the liquid eyeliner dries. Okay, so I'm done with the eyeliner, I mean the glitter. So what I'm going to do next is apply my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I already applied my lashes and uh, touched up a bit on my eyeliner. Next, I'm going to go for this uh, blue eyeliner pencil. You can use anything you have. This is by Catrice and it's just the navy blue, sorry, <laughs> navy blue eyeliner. So I'm just going to line my waterline and my lower lash line with this. I'm going back for the light blue that we use in the inner corner. Where is it? Okay. And I'm just going to slightly apply that to the lower lash line as well. Next, you can just get a wet wipe and clean up your under eye area before you apply your concealer. That's what I'm going to do in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this to apply my concealer and um, okay, I'm using MAC Studio Finish in NW35 first. Okay, this is a bit like peachy so it's going to um, cover my dark circles. And to brighten my under eye area, I'm using another Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. This is way much lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply this as a highlight. Alright, and next... With my beauty blender, I'm just going to make sure it's all blended out. Okay. So go ahead and apply some loose powder or whatever powder you use for your under eye area. I'm using my banana powder. I'm just going to apply a little bit. Okay. I already contoured, so I'm just going to do my blusher now. Um, I'm going to go for a 
really nice hot pink blush from Inglot. So on here, I'm just going to wipe off my lip balm on my lips. I'm just going to line my lips with a new lip liner. The lipstick I'm going to use is this by MAC and it's called Faux. I'll write the name below here. of gloss this is by NYX it's just a a mauve pinky lip gloss Okay, there you go. That's the completed look. Let me zoom you in to show you the eyes. Lots of glitter. I think the colors are really, really nice. And if you're going for a wedding or any festive occasion like Deepavali is around the corner. So I think it's going to be really nice if you're going to wear Indian clothes and... Um, all the jewelry and all it's really going to complement this look so i hope you guys try it out and um i'll see you in my next video take care bye